I can't remember exactly when I first met David Inouye. We have known each other for a very long time. We've both been working at the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab for a long time. Dave's one of the top scientists who's working with what we call phenology. That is the timing sequence of when flowers first open, when bees first come to pollinate them, when it gets cold enough so that they all have to go into hibernation and so on. He's been working in that area for a very long time, along with a whole series of others that have to do with the relationships of plants to insects, for example. And now we're starting to try and link the effects of phenology and the effects of flower abundance to a variety of insects or hummingbirds that use these flowers. We have some data on what's the first date of arrival of a male broadtail here. That's pretty easy to tell because you can hear them. Another set of consumers that I'd like to eventually start linking to is seed predators because their abundance is probably linked both to the abundance of seeds, which is correspondingly linked to the abundance of flowers, but also to the abundance of pollinators. So you know, at some point we can begin to put all these different pieces of the puzzle together. Phenology is now a really big thing because we are changing the envelope in which we live, that is the climate. David is an expert in what has become one of the most important areas of science and has done internationally recognized work in that area. Human food supply is very dependent upon pollination in general and understanding the uh, creatures that perform the pollination service and the food and the growth of plants that results from that is really important as any farmer can tell you. Well, the ESA is the Ecological Society of America, and it is the preeminent organization in the world dealing with the relationship of plants, animals, microorganisms, and human beings to their environments. David is coming up as the next president of the ESA, which is an extraordinarily prestigious position because ecology today, as I think everybody realizes, is the single most important science. Well, David has made enormous contributions to RMBL. When I think of who the top scientists are and have been at RMBL over the more than half a century I've been involved. He's one of the first two or three names that come up because he's done so much brilliant work on phenology up here and because he's a really thoughtful, wonderful, brilliant scientist. And I think that's the key thing. Uh, not only is he really smart, he's really a nice guy. And frankly, science goes much better if you have a lot of colleagues that you like. And Dave is one of the ones that everybody that I know likes. I see it both as an obligation and as a, something I enjoy doing to try and convey what I'm learning about science to a broad, as broad a community as I can.